I don't know why I find that so funny, but I do. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I like have no idea what I did with my hands then. Anyway, today I'm back with once again another Zara haul because I just love shopping on there. I've done three orders on there in the past two weeks. So prepare yourself for a couple or like quite a few basically Zara hauls coming up in the next sort of few weeks. I am gonna try and spread it out a bit, but anyway, yeah, I've got another Zara haul today. Again, I also apologize for this really boring background. I am in the process of trying to change it and make it a bit better and interesting, but trying to find somewhere with a good filming background that's also good of lighting is proving to be a little bit hard. So I'm working on it, please bear with me. Anyway, I'm gonna stop blabbering now and get on with the Zara haul. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the main reason why I placed this order. Really crinkly wrapping paper, I apologise. So yeah, the main reason why I placed this order was to get this top, which looks like a random, like, weird piece of material right now. But I basically saw this in a girl's TikTok. She was like, it's kind of like an outfit styling TikTok. It came up on my For You page. I don't know why I said that really weirdly. Um, and she had this top on. And this isn't something I would normally pick out. I love the colour, but it's never really something that I would choose to wear. Um, but I saw it in her TikTok and I fell in love with it. So I tried to get it. But basically this top was constantly out of stock when I was trying to get it and one day it came in stock in a size medium which is what I got this one in and I thought you know what I'm just going to get that because I just thought I'm never going to get it if I keep waiting for the small and also because it's quite baggy I thought I'd be able to get away with it and I was actually right it does fit quite nicely you can't really tell that it's like one size too big for me but yeah it's just like a kind of balloon bright orange top not really a colour that I'd normally go for but I thought in the summer with a tan this would look so nice and I just thought it'd be something a little bit different it does look like it's silky like I was expecting this to be a silky material but when it arrived it kind of like it is still quite soft but it doesn't feel silky I don't really know what the material is but like on camera it's looking quite silky and stuff so I thought for like dinner or drinks or something this would be quite nice because it looks quite fancy also the shape of it and the fact it's like quite a high neck with the tie stuff I thought it'd make it look quite smart and stuff but it's also like nice and comfy and easy to throw on okay so this is the orange top which I absolutely love it's got like an elasticated kind of bit here so it's so comfy like you could go out for a meal in this and you wouldn't feel like really kind of tight and restricted in it if that makes sense. Um, I've kind of folded this like neck bit down a little bit, like you can have it kind of all the way up, but I've kind of like folded it half down. I have got a bra on with this and you can kind of see the straps, but if you tuck it in well enough, you can kind of get away with it because it is like a little bit of a halter neck type thing. And then the back, just looks like that. I don't really know how well you can see that. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this top. If they still have it, I definitely recommend getting it. But like I said, everyone seems to want it because it seems to be out of stock. So you might have to like kind of try hard to keep an eye on it if you want it. The next thing I got, I saw again on someone else. This I saw on Alice, I can't think of her surname, um, on Instagram. I'll insert her picture in here. Um, but I saw her in this and in the comments she said that it was a men's blazer from Zara and she got it in a size um, 48 but they didn't have that size in stock so I got in size 50 so literally one size up but this is way too big for me it's just really too broad here for me like it's way too wide it looks like I've got my dad's blazer on um, it does have shoulder pads which gives it quite a nice structure and it's just like a simple sort of brown blazer and I am wanting to build on my blazer collection and get a lot more so when I saw this on her Instagram and saw that this was on the sale in Zara I thought I might as well get it um, but yeah it's just way too big for me but yeah like I said this is in the sale um, I don't know the original price but I got it for 19 99 which for a Zara blazer is so good. I think if I'd have got this blazer in a size that Alice got it in or like a size or two smaller than this one basically, I think it would have looked a lot nicer but it's just way too big for me kind of on the shoulders and it's just like literally my arms don't, like my hands can't fall out the bottom so it's way too big. But I think if it was the right size it looked really nice. Like if this was a bit shorter, a little bit kind of not as broad and I could actually keep my hands out the bottom of the sleeves, I think it would look really nice. Then I got something else which also wasn't from the women's section this is actually from the kids section um but i find that i can fit into the size 13 to 14 things from the kids section so if you're a size like me like a kind of six to eight then have a look in zara kids section because 13 to 14 years might fit you but yeah i got this which is like a kind of nude cream leather jacket i didn't know if this was going to be a little bit too small because i do like my leather jackets to be quite big and boxy and like i said because it's from the kids section i didn't know if it's going to be a bit too tight but it actually fits so nicely like it is actually really big like this would definitely fit like a woman's size eight so it's just like a simple cream leather jacket. I wouldn't normally go for this kind of colour in a leather jacket, but I actually thought it was quite nice to try something different. Um, and then, yeah, like I said, fits me perfectly. Got a kind of like 
nice satiny bit on the inside. But yeah, this was $29.99, not in the sale. Um, I can't remember exactly how much the ones from the women's section are, but I think they're like maybe $59.99. So this is literally like half the price. So if you're looking at getting anything in like Zara, I'd have a look at the kids section first, just to see if they do anything similar, because it's a lot cheaper. Considering this is from the kids section, it actually fits so nicely. Like it's like the right kind of bagginess and stuff. It fits so well. But yeah, I really like it. Nice fit and everything. Feels really comfortable and stuff and also a really good price. Back to women's section things now. I got this. Again, this is in the sale. I saw this in the shop the other day, but I didn't really know if I was gonna like wear it enough. Um, so I didn't buy it because obviously you can't try on in the store at the moment. So then I saw it online, thought I'd order it, then I can try it on, see how I'd style it and see if I wanted it. But it's basically like this little kind of, um, like it's kind of like a knit jumper vest thing. Don't really know how else to explain it. It's got like a kind of cable knit detail and I don't really know how well that's showing up on camera. But um, yeah, I thought of like a little shirt on underneath or something. This could look quite nice for going out for lunch or something. Something a little bit more formal. It's got a cute little neck with a kind of like frilly scallop type detail on. I don't really know how to explain this, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, I just thought it was a cute kind of little jumper thing. Like I said, it was in the sale for 9 99 Again, I don't know the original price. Um, but yeah, just a cute kind of little vest jumper type thing. Not sure if this is gonna kind of look how I want it to, whether it's gonna look really stupid or actually look really nice, but I'll try it on and see. I didn't think I was gonna wear this jumper by itself, but I actually think it looks quite nice. I was kind of like, when I was buying it, I was envisioning wearing it with like a white shirt on underneath or something and then having the collar peeping out, but I don't actually know if that would work because this is like kind of a high neck, so to have the collar peeping out as well, I don't know if it'd work, but anyway, I don't have a white shirt to like try this on with, so that's why I'm trying on just like this, but I actually think like this, it looks really nice, like you could easily wear this out like this, again with like a blazer on top or something, I think it would look really nice. Like this with a little blazer, I mean, this isn't tucked in very well, but still you can kind of see like the whole neckline bit I think looks really nice because it's like slightly high, but it's not too high because I'm not a big fan of high necks but this is like the perfect amount and like yeah with a blazer or something I think it looks quite smart and sweet and then I did also buy a shirt because I've been wanting just a simple white shirt for ages I had one like a couple years ago and then I sold it and I don't know why I sold it because it's such a staple piece to have um so I like bought this one uh but it's literally probably longer than me on the website it didn't look that long but this is literally like super super long it probably goes down to my knees which is not what i wanted um but yeah apart from that it's just a simple like white sort of shirt with like just normal shirt details but it's literally just stupidly long so yeah this is definitely going to be returned because this is not what i wanted i just wanted a simple white shirt to wear like buttoned up with like that little vest on top or like unbuttoned or something this is not what i wanted but if anyone is interested it was 19.99 not in the sale um it's a frizzara item that's really good but for the length absolutely not i've decided there's literally no point in me undoing like the 50,000 buttons that are on this shirt to try it on because i know it's way too long and i know i hate it so i thought i'd just kind of hold it up instead but like you can't even see the bottom like my knee is there you can see it like in the ripped jeans and the shirt literally goes down to there like this is literally way too big i got this in an extra small which is my normal size and it's just so long and massive so yeah then I got this, which again isn't really what I was expecting. Um, it's just this like super long maxi dress. And the colour on the website said it was like a sea green or something. It doesn't say it on here, but it said something like green. But then in the pitch online, it looked like a kind of dark grey green, kind of a bit like this. So I was expecting it to be a kind of darker colour and then it arrived and it's a lot lighter than I expected. It's kind of like a pistachio colour, which isn't really what I wanted. So I'm probably gonna return this. Um, but it's literally just like a super long maxi ribbed dress. It's got a little scoop neck here and then a little race the back and it was only 12 99 which for a dress this long is so cheap, like super easy to throw on, maybe with like a little denim jacket or something and you've pretty much got an outfit. So yeah, really nice and cheap price. It feels quite nice material but it feels like it's not going to be like that tight, like it's not very tight or stretchy, it kind of just is there if that makes sense. As I thought, like because of the material and everything, this dress just is not very tight at all. Like, as you can see, it's really baggy. It's not very flattering at all because it's not tight. Like it doesn't like cinch in on my waist or anything. It's quite baggy. I do like the colour though. I think it's quite a nice kind of like summery springtime colour. It's not something I'd normally pick, but I do actually really like it. But yeah, it's just not very tight. Also on the bottom of my legs, I'll insert like a little um clip of that here but on my legs it's not very tight either it's quite baggy down there and I just feel like it's not really got much shape to it it doesn't really look very flattering or anything I then got two kind of basic bits these are the same they're like these ribbed 
sort of like square neck t-shirts. That one you can't really see it very well, so I'll show you the white one. Um, but yeah, they're just like a kind of little, is it square neck? Yeah, it is, like a little square neck thing, just a simple little t-shirt. They're slightly cropped and they're just like a ribbed material. This white one I had to get in a medium because I didn't have it in a small. And then this one I managed to get in a small, but I thought the medium I'd kind of be able to get away with because this top here is in a large. Because it's a really nice tight material, um, it fits me okay. But this in a medium doesn't fit me, it's way too baggy. Like the material just basically isn't very good on it, so you have to kind of stick to size. Um, but yeah, now that they're here, not really that impressed with the material and I just think they're a bit basic and not the most interesting. This bit's just like quite baggy on me as you can see, like it's kind of tight round here and that kind of fits okay but just around my stomach it's really too big and I think the kind of style of this top is like meant to be tight, it'd look a lot nicer if it was so definitely kind of stick to size for this one because the medium is just too big. This actually looks a lot nicer on than I was expecting, I think the neckline is actually so flattering, I don't really tend to wear like square necks or anything like this but I actually think it looks really nice, it fits really nicely, nice and tight round here. It is kind of tight like on my underarms like here it is a little bit too tight but I'm hoping like with a bit of wear it will kind of stretch it out. I've actually decided this top really does not fit nicely at all like it's actually so tight under here I was just like moving to like pick the next thing to try on and it's just so uncomfortable so I wouldn't recommend these tops at all because in the correct size they're way too tight around here which I've never had a problem with with Zara or like any shops for that matter and then the size up is just way too baggy. Carrying on with black ribbed I then got this bodysuit which is literally super Super high leg so like this crotch bit is so long I don't know why I find that so funny but I do but yeah, it's basically like a really high leg and um, bodysuit so when you're wearing jeans you can kind of see a bit of like skin there but for it to be high leg you have to have this bit really long which just I find very amusing apparently the bodysuit is pop out which is super helpful I think it's a thong um, back I'm not really too sure yet um, and then the top part is actually quite a high neck um, the armholes are like fairly big, not too big, and then it kind of just sits like that. I got this in a size small and it was £12.99. This bodysuit actually looks so much nicer than I was expecting. I didn't really know what it was going to look like with the skin showing here. Like, I didn't know if that was going to look a bit weird, but I actually really like this. I'm wearing these with Topshop Jamie jeans, which are pretty high-waisted. My belly button's kind of here, so like, if you wear high-waisted things, you can still kind of have the skin bit showing. But yeah, I actually really like this. I wasn't sure if it was going to look weird or not, but I actually kind of like it. It's such a simple bodysuit, but like this bit just adds like a little bit of detail and makes it look quite different. And also on the back, it does kind of go up. Like you can kind of see there's like skin sections at the back. I don't know if that looks a bit weird at the back, but I quite like the skin sections on the front. And then carrying on with black bodysuits, I've kind of forgotten this one actually. I don't, don't think I like this, but anyway, this is like a little black lace bodysuit. Probably like best for kind of drinks or going out. Um, kind Kind of a stretchy material. I don't really know. A lot of these things from Zara that I got today aren't really the nicest material. But anyway, it's just like a little lace bodysuit. This one um, has poppers again. It's not a thong back though. It's just like a normal pant type back thing. And yeah, just little spaghetti straps. Simple little um, black bodysuit for going out or something. Um, it was only twelve ninety nine again. Pretty simple. I just mm, I'm not really too sure on this one. To be fair to this bodysuit, I actually think it looks a lot nicer on than it did like off. I think once it's on, the kind of lace against your skin looks really nice. Like when I was holding it up, it just didn't look very nice, but the lace actually does look a lot nicer now. A nice little bodysuit for like drinks or dinner or something. Super simple and easy to throw on. Little leather jacket or something would look really nice. Um, but yeah, nice little simple piece, but it's yeah, it's just really nice basically. And then lastly, I have this, which I'm not going to keep, but I just wanted to show you it because. Um, a couple of Zara hauls back, I got this Zara denim dress, which I absolutely love. It's so flattering. Um, and then this is kind of like the top version to it. And I know that dress sold out pretty quickly. It's gone completely out of stock. So I thought I'd just show you that there is a top version to it, just in case anyone wanted it. Like, it's the exact same. It's got the exact same shoulder detailing. Um, the sleeves are, like, exactly the same puffiness. It's got a zip down the back. It's literally, like, the dress that I have, but with the skirt bit cut off. So if anyone wanted that dress or wanted a top version of it, then here it is. It's only um, 9 99 which is actually so cheap. You could wear this with, like, a denim skirt and kind of make it into a two-piece. Um, or whatever really, denim shorts even or something. I just thought I'd show it because I mentioned that denim dress which I absolutely love. Um, I saw the top version so I thought I might as well get it as well. I put this on with the denim skirt that I had just because I didn't really know what else to like, style it with but I actually think it looks kind of good. Um, but yeah, this is the denim top. Looks and fits exactly like the dress that I have does. And if this kind of like was joined and didn't have this section like this cut out bit here, this would exactly look like the dress. 
but yeah for anyone who wanted the dress or like kind of wanted a top version of it then this is pretty much perfect um i feel like if you wore like the right color denim with it this is kind of a slightly different color but it works quite well i think it looks quite nice because it looks like a little cord so this one is like a two-piece or maybe worn with i don't really know what trousers you could wear with maybe with some like kind of smart beige or white trousers like darted trousers or something i think could look quite nice but yeah i actually kind of like this i didn't think it'd be that easy to style but i think with this skirt it looks quite cute and there's probably a few other things it would work with as well and that is actually the last thing that i got for this style haul so i hope you enjoyed it give a thumbs up if you did like i said i've got a few more coming over the next couple of weeks so make sure you subscribe down below to see them um and yeah give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it don't know if i've already said that um and yeah i'll see you at some point soon in another video bye